Uh, I'm excited for our fans, for Clipper Nation. I'm excited for our team to have our own house, our own building, our own energy. We want this to be the penultimate basketball experience on the planet. As good as it gets, the pinnacle, the peak. Since the Clippers left the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena back in 1999, they never really had a place that they could call home. The Staples Center, which is now known as the Crypto.com Arena, has always been recognized as the Lakers' exclusive home floor. While the Clippers always felt like they're the little brother living in the basement, who's just renting out. When the Clippers and Lakers play against each other, the crowd would always cheer for the Lakers. And when the Clippers have their home games, the Lakers' 17 championship banners that are hanging from the rafters have to be covered up to remind them that they haven't achieved anything. Speaking of Clippers, I don't like the fact that when you guys are, have your home games, you cover up the jerseys. I don't, I'm not, I don't agree with that. It's, it's our building, okay? <laughs> All right. Y'all just leasing it. Although the Clippers have beaten the Lakers 32 times out of 40 matchups since Steve Ballmer purchased the team back in 2014, it doesn't change the fact that the Lakers are the more popular team among the two Los Angeles-based franchises with a long winning tradition that spans back to the late 40s. Simply put, the lack of real identity as a basketball club has always been haunting the Clippers for years and decades. However, thanks to Ballmer's passionate effort, that's not going to be the case anymore. This year, the Clippers' new arena, which is going to be called the Intuit Dome, is set to finally get completed. This $2 billion, jaw-dropping megastructure is projected to become the greatest basketball arena that has been ever built in history. And today we're going to take a tour inside of this luxurious, state-of-the-art facility to see what the buzz is all about. So stick around Clipper Nation because this one will surely blow your brains out. Located in Inglewood, California, the Intuit Dome is roughly 10 miles southwest of Staples Center and 3 miles east of Los Angeles International Airport. It also sits close to two other major venues, such as the Forum, which is the former home of the Lakers, and the SoFi Stadium, which houses the Los Angeles Rams and Chargers of the NFL. Sunk deep into the ground of a 28-acre development lot, the Intuit Dome was initially reported to cost around $1.2 billion to build. But that number has since jacked up to $2 billion due to the inflation on the cost of supply and building materials caused by the COVID pandemic. Before the arena's inception, Balmer personally visited 13 to 15 NBA arenas and facilities to get some inspiration and design ideas, and this includes the stadiums of Milwaukee, Detroit, Indiana, Charlotte, Utah, Portland, Dallas, and San Antonio, as well as the University of Oregon. Aside from these, Balmer also visited some European soccer stadiums because he wants to incorporate that raucous and rowdy vibe into his new arena, creating that one-of-a-kind fan experience that has never been seen and felt before. The Clippers campus boasts an 86,000 square foot practice facility, with the Clips' main practice facility built into the arena's ground floor. It also has 71,000 square feet of office space for the team and a 25,000 square foot area for sports medicine. Business and shopping spaces, as well as concert stages, are also in place. To make the new arena uber fan-friendly, Balmer specifically modeled the outdoor plaza after the Toronto Raptors' famous Jurassic Park fan viewing area, where fans can watch Clippers game from through giant LED screens for outdoor viewing parties while bars and restaurants are scattered through the arena ground to serve the fans' gastronomical needs. And on top of that, auxiliary basketball courts are also plastered on the outside plaza so that casual hoopers can simply drop by and play pickup games anytime they want to. The extremely mindful effort in building this mega project is so evident that the team's training facility is designed down to the detail of how many paces it takes a player to walk from the parking lot to the locker room, up to the home bench. On the surface, the Intuit Dome is the ultimate go-to place for die-hard Clippers fans. But see, it's not just fan-friendly, but more importantly, it's also eco-friendly. Its oval-shaped roof was built with sustainability and its carbon footprint in mind. There's a solar farm installed on the roof, which is designed to store up to six hours worth of off-the-grid energy while accommodating a 44,000 square feet or a full acre's worth of LED lights. Aside from that, the entire venue is powered by reclaimed water to ensure that its eco-friendly elements are properly observed. The Intuit Dome can host 18,000 roaring fans inside, 
Just like what Balmer did in visiting various sport arenas, he also took some time in personally inspecting the smallest details such as picking the right seats inside the bowl. According to reports, Balmer personally tested no less than 40 different kinds of seat cushions just to find the perfect one. To increase comfort, he also made sure that it will have the most leg room of any venue in the NBA and seats in the upper bowl of the Intuit Dome will have more leg room than the lower bowl of Crypto.com Arena. On top of that, each seat also comes with a power outlet along with an adjustable fan to make fans feel that they're just watching the game from the comforts of their couch in their living room. The ticket entry areas and concession stands are built for frictionless, wireless transactions, meaning that nobody has to pull out tickets or find QR codes or wait in a long line to pay for beer and a bag of chips and every transaction will be automatically charged without using cash or cards. But the main viewing feature that sets this infrastructure marvel apart from its contemporaries is its halo-shaped video board that circles the entire arena. It's a double-sided halo display that features roughly 38,375 square feet of digital canvas, and it includes more than 3,592 60-inch television and more than 233 million LEDs, which is also displayed in 4K and features a tight 3.9 millimeter pixel layout. With the halo-shaped board installed, this gives the Clippers fans a 360-degree close-up view of what's happening down at the court, and they're also constantly updated with the in-game stats as well as the development surrounding the game. Balmer has put his heart and soul into building this arena, and to put his passion into practice, he specifically dedicated a section of seating to die-hard Clippers fans called The Wall. This soccer-inspired wall consists of 51 uninterrupted rows of fan seating occupied solely by Clippers fans. However, in order to grab a seat in one of these rows, fans must obey these three certain rules. They cannot cheer for the opposing team, wear opponent's gears, or resell tickets outside of the Clippers fan marketplace. The intimidating presence of the wall gives the Clippers a real home court advantage as it can provide distraction as well as heavy pressure to the visiting team to force them to miss a shot or create a turnover, especially when the game is tight. To provide a holistic fan experience, the Intuit Dome also offers a ton of plushy suites and lounges for paying patrons to sink into. There are backstage bungalows where folks can avoid the noise for pre-game and halftime, as well as halo suites where folks can watch the games. The 10 backstage bungalows on the sideline opposite the benches make up the balance of floor level suits and offer an all-inclusive luxury option that features a private suite on the floor level with direct access to seats in the lower bowl. The 46 halo suites above the lower bowl on the other hand were designed to blend into the design to not allow sound to escape while placing suite holders in the bowl, not removing them from it. Aside from these, the Intuit Dome offers a variety of seat packages, which includes an all-inclusive deal of food and beverages, as well as club access such as the Premier Red Club, Orange Club, and Green Club. And lastly, although this doesn't sound appealing to many, the arena features a total of 1,160 toilets and urinals, which can accommodate 27 people per bathroom fixture. Toilets! 1,160 Ooh. toilets and urinals! Three times the NBA app. Folks, and if you enjoyed this feature on the Clippers' new arena, be sure to tap the subscribe button, as well as hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated about the latest buzz surrounding the Clippers. And until then, see you on the next video, Clipper Nation.